Okay, so this is just an open question to each and every one of you because I want to know whether or not you are happy with the superstar selection screen when choosing your match type and then picking your superstar, then selecting your arena, then adding a championship. Does all of this work for you currently in a WWE game? Does it work for you in WWE 2K19? Now I'm asking this question and this may sound harsh and I don't mean it to come across this way. But I think the biggest fault of WWE 2K19 is the fact that it seems to take rather a long time to do anything. Because I have to go here, there and everywhere. And the selection screen process is a similar issue. And like I said, you know, just to be clear, it might not be an issue. It might just be my preference that I'm not happy with this. But say for example, I want to use a tables match and I accidentally pick one on one. I go and pick my superstars, I pick my arena, I get all those things in place. And then the penny drops and I'm like, damn it, you know what? It was meant to be a tables match. And I'll be honest with you, the purpose for me to use a tables match as a creator is to remove the referee. Now, I'd actually love the option inside the selection screen to maybe not have a referee for one-on-one -on -one matches. That would be great. I just pick it, turn it off, done. Then I can actually go and use the one-on-one -on -one option instead because I don't really want to use tables. I just want to hide the referee. Or maybe... I can just turn the referee off from the menu when I'm starting the match. How cool would that be? But none of these are actually there at the moment. None of these options are available to me. So I go in, I set it all up and I've made the mistake that it's one on one. Yes, I hold my hand up. It's my fault. But then to actually go and rectify and fix the problem, I have to come all the way out. Nothing's actually saved anymore. So I come out, I have to pick a tables match, I go back in, my superstars are no more, I have to go and find them. Then if I wanna pick an arena, I have to go into another little sub menu. And then once I've done that, if I wanna apply a championship, just in the instance that I might want to, if I apply that championship, sometimes, or actually every time, if you apply a championship, you're almost at the point of no return. Because once you've done that, it's almost like the game is pulling the trigger and you've got to go. You don't get a chance to review it and the match gets underway. So if that happens and you still haven't quite got things right or you wanted to adjust anything, you're done for. You're going to have to quit, restart and start all over again. So I just feel that WWE games, and most notably WWE 2K19, isn't the most productive when navigating through the menus. It's not quick enough. You can't get things done quickly. If you make a mistake, you can't rectify them quickly. And that's a problem. Now, in other games, I'll take UFC, for example. I'll also take Fire Pro Wrestling. It does retain some of the options if you were to make a mistake. So if you come back out and then go back in, you'll still have, for example, the superstars or fighters that you chose previously. You don't have to start from scratch. Now, I think that's pretty good. I like that. It saves it as a draft. That's decent. That might help. But also as well, I just think the menus in general, when you're inside picking your superstars, you know, if you make a mistake on that same screen, you should be able to adjust that match type with no issues at all. You shouldn't have to go back out and start over. I don't like that. That is not good. So guys, am I blowing this out of proportion? Am I exaggerating this? I don't think I'm exaggerating it because there have been so many times where I've gone through the process and then realized I've done something wrong. Am I just a div? That might be it. Because when I do make that mistake, I'm like, oh, for God's sake. I'm going to have to start again. So there's been many instances where that's happened for me. 
And I'd be interested to know if it happens to you because if it does, and my comments are overwhelmed with, yeah, it's not really good enough, or yeah, we do find it a bit of a pain, then I'll know that I'm not the only one. And I think I am coming at this from a creator's standpoint, so I would like to hear from the players too. You know, if you're just wanting to get stuck into playing matches, are the menus set up good enough for you at the moment? As a creator, I just feel like, not just on the selection screen, but in most instances, you wanna go and do something and you can get, I'd say, 60% of it done, then you realize that you have to come out and go somewhere else, adjust something in a different area, only then to have to go back and go to the place where you got 60% of it done to complete it and make it 100%. Goodness me, that sounded like a Scott Steiner promo. So I'm very interested to get your views and opinions on this because I do think these are things that are worth talking about because, you know, ultimately, 2K could go and introduce new game modes this year. They could put in GM mode. They could put in, you know, enhancements to my career. They could do plenty of things. They could make, you know, a women's showcase, whatever floats your boat. And all of that stuff could be great. But if it's still frustrating navigating through the menus, if you still have certain bugs in matches, if the referee still spoils matches, you know, all this stuff that we're talking about here on the channel, these are all the things that, in my opinion, ruin the gaming experience. And that's what they do because it's frustrating and you end up sitting there thinking, why, why, why? And I'm not hating on 2K or anything like this. It's just pointing out, you know, that really the bread and butter of these games is, you know, the core foundation. And that's the setup, that's the navigation, that's being able to do things when you want to do them. It's being able to go into a menu and not worry that it might crash. It's being able to go and change something on the fly, do it quickly. These should be a priority and these should be tested to the max. What I'm trying to say is I think it's doable. So I'd love to hear your suggestions and it was just again something that kind of popped into my head and I wanted to discuss it with you guys. I'm really enjoying just talking about you know areas which I'd like to see improved and not going you know for the jugular, not going for the all singing all dancing but actually just trying to get a WWE game into the smoothest, quickest experience. And I do think it would benefit not just the creator, but the player too. Because ultimately, it's about your gaming experience. And I feel like although I get good stuff from a WWE game, like I'll get five star matches, I'll be able to create something awesome. You know, the creation suite, forever how many people might knock it, it is one of the best. You won't get that, I mean, just take UFC, for example. Their creation suite is pretty terrible. It's pretty lackluster. Not much to it. WWE Games, on the other hand, gives you so much. I mean, they've really opened up the floodgates, and I'm sure that that will continue. So all of those things are good. However... What lets the game down is just the clunky menus and the time it takes to do things and the fact that you can't get everything done in one simple area. Great example of this was one of my previous videos where we talked about create an arena and create a show. Is create a show really necessary? Because even when a creator creates an arena and they upload it and they've added it to a show, the show actually falls away as part of that upload, then when someone goes and downloads it, they have to go and put it into a show themselves. They can't just crack on and use that arena. And I did see the counter argument, so I'll cover it in this video. I did hear the comments of, well, actually, 
You just need to go and download the show. But why? Why would you just be happy for that? And I mean, why do you have to download a show? It's so pointless. It's not like that's got all custom good bits in it either. It's just got bog standard stuff because create a show is not much. I wouldn't say it's an area of the game in fact, I'd say it's more of an addition, just an add-on, an extra, not really thought about, a bit of a throwaway. So why would you settle for the fact that you have to download the arena, then download the show? In fact, you know what? I'll be honest with you. When that comment came up, I was like, you can download shows? Because it never really crossed my mind to go and download a show because it's so pointless. And who actually does that? Because I did see the counter argument to that argument that not everybody uploads a show. Well, I'll be honest, spoiler alert, I don't upload shows, even though I add every single arena to a show because of course, you can't play with an arena unless it's been added to a show. So that's my bad as a creator. But then again, I'm thinking that the game should make it more easy for us and much more simplified by simply once you've added it to a show on your version of the game, it packages it all up. And when you upload it, it comes as a total package, Lex Luger. Torture act that one. Hmm. So yeah, anyway, I think you catch my drift. What I want is a much more simplified navigation menu across the board, but I would like it as well on the superstar selection screen. So if I pick the wrong match type, because I am a bit of a div, if I do do that, then actually I can just quickly correct it and it retains everything else that I've selected thus far. I want these games to have a bit of a brain to help the frustration of mine. How about it? Anyway, I'm having a bit of fun with this now, but I do want to hear from you guys. I always find it very interesting to see if you either agree or disagree, or if you do agree, what your suggestions will be to improve this section. I think you guys come up with some fantastic comments. And I'm also interested in hearing your frustrations because sometimes, and I'm sure it's like for yourself, you feel like, am I the only one here? Am I the only one that finds this rather annoying? And I did find that with the uh, parental issues that we talked about. So many people saying, yes, please, this must be fixed. And in this instance, I wouldn't say it's a fix. It's just, it maybe needs to be reviewed, looked over and thought about, is this the best way to do it? Is this the best method to select match types, to pick superstars for the player and the creators? Have we done it so it's quick and simple? Have we made it so it's nice and easy? That's what we want, or that's what I want. Is it what you want? Well, let me know. And please rate, comment, and subscribe, and of course, I'll see you later.